Mark Billings' family has worked this farm near Colac in southwest Victoria for four generations. Come on. His 400 cows are looking happy today, but it's been a tough season. It's been one of those years that has been out of the box. We've had the perfect storm of high, high prices, uh, high input prices rather. Uh, milk price has been low and our season has been pretty tough and it's only now that we're, we're starting to get the pasture on the ground that we need to feed the cows. He says the industry isn't looking for handouts, but the major parties should be investing more in research and development to secure the industry's future. The pressures that are coming on our business now, um, you know, the one percenters just make a huge difference for us and their profitability. So research around the, the cows um, and pasture. Um, we need to get more sustainable pastures that, that can deal with some of the climate change that we're seeing. Nationally, the industry is worth $13 billion. In this part of Victoria, it accounts for 10% of jobs and a hot, dry summer has hit hard. We've already had one suicide that I know of in the area and it puts a lot of stress not only on the farmers but their family. Councillor Russell has met with each of the Corangamide candidates and she isn't impressed. We're very disappointed at the moment that haven't had any policies or any um, promises from our members or even the candidates and that is reflected in the agricultural business. The dairy industry says the supermarket wars over cheap milk prices are continuing to put a major strain on farmers. The industry is calling for a mandatory supermarket code of conduct to be overseen by an ombudsman. It is also pushing for more opportunities offshore. Free trade agreements with China, Japan and South Korea are high on the agenda. Getting those markets opened up in China, but not just China, Korea and, and Japan and other parts of Asia, really offers one of the enormous potentials for job growth in this country. So that's very much our focus. It's going to be a priority for us to conclude these free trade agreements to support our exporters, our producers and find new markets and enhance existing markets for Australian business. Mark Billing is also keen to see investment in broadband. The cows, as you can see, are wearing uh, collars and we're using data off those collars for, for managing their feed and everything else. So um, the smartphone that I've got links back to the, the dairy computer and I can look at these cows' um, production from in the pastures. So long term, I think um, the NBN or whatever we get is going to be pretty important um, for our future and, and to engage the younger generation too, the next gener generation coming on. The farm Mark Billings' son is set to inherit will look very different to his great-great-grandfather's. Yeah.